Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Difference World YouTube channel. I hope you all out there having a wonderful day like your girl. And if not, manifest, plan, and prepare for a better one because I guarantee you guys it is surely coming to you all for sure. And if this is your first, second, or third time or more to my YouTube channel, welcome you guys. Happy to have you all. Before you leave, definitely hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so when I drop content, you guys come into Difference World and you come and learn what's going on with your girl, yeah? And speaking of coming and learning, you guys, I'm an author, motivational speaker, and CEO of my own small business, Third Eye Entertainment LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which it educates, inspires, and entertains you guys all at once. So again, first, second, or third time or more, it don't matter. Just hit the subscribe button for your girl, yeah? So you guys, uh, today is Tuesday, uh, second week in May, um, you know, uh, Tuesday or uh, excuse me on Tuesday yeah we drop our social awareness content and being that it is the month of May uh, mental health awareness uh, month definitely 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 want to touch bases on that it's one of the hot topics here are the main topics here at Third Eye Entertainment and Difference World YouTube channels we push and we advocate for mental health wellness uh, not only just with you know black people but women you know teens children Everybody, you know, anybody that's going through any type of mental anguish or stress, be it, you know, dealing with depression, uh, anxiety attacks, suicidal thoughts, you know, even being bullied or, you know, going through a relapse, rehab, whatever the case may be, you know, anything in that source that causes mental anguish and, and, and mental strife in your life, you know, we're here to talk about that and ways to combat it and push for encouragement for you guys out there to, you know, figure out ways to better keep your mental health in check. And so this topic is going to be one of, you know, a dear one to my heart and talking about it, you guys. Uh, we all go through uh, mental anguish or stress, if you will, um, mental illness, whatever you want to call it. You know, we are all, you know, if you're human and you walk in this earth, you have been through some type of mental anguish or emotional pain or even physical pain um, dealing with, you know, from the emotional and mental anguish that you've, you know, dealt with over your lives. Some of it can start from, you know, your childhood. Uh, you can go through a traumatic experience in your adult life that causes, you know, mental anguish to where, you know, day in, day out, you constantly think about this situation or it holds you back and you can't move forward and you can't move on from that hurt and pains that it caused you. And you feel like you're in the merry-go-round, you're just going back and forth, you know, you take two steps further, you get kicked three steps back, and then sometimes it's how life feels, it's how I feel at times, you know, here I am thinking I've gotten my mental health in control, or I'm keeping it in check, and I'm doing well, and one day, you know, I just feel like I'm taking three steps back instead of the two steps that I just took. And it's like that at times when it comes to keeping your mental health in check. I don't think that me, in my personal opinion, there's no way that you can actually fix your mental health and there's nothing else that's going to be a problem with because you know as you grow older as long as you live and you're going to have trials and tribulations you have to deal with so life is going to come at you no matter what age you are you know, no matter what you know gender you are what color you are you're still going to have you know personal trials and tribulations and you know business <laughs> issues as well you know issues just in general that you'll have to deal with that you know causes you know mental anguish and stress you know to where it pushes you a ways in on you to where it can push you off the deep end and, and, and possibly and hopefully not you know take anybody with you you know oftentimes they say hurt people hurt people and I never understood that saying as I was a kid coming up but getting older and understanding you know the hurt and pain that you know the world can cause you or what you go through in this world you know it can push you to to not want to hurt nobody and I've never wanted to you know cause physical pain or anything. I, I, but I've all I have you know lashed out at people because of something somebody else has done to me and you know caused me and I've made it they want to feel, well, hey, I want these people to feel how I'm feeling at this time. And so that's where I understood that hurt people hurt people. And the way that we can heal a hurt person is by, you know, allowing them time and space to grow as well as, you know, helping them when you see them, you know, having issues, including ourselves, not just talking about others. Men and men, this is about myself as well. But when you see somebody, you know, that's going through it or you you getting that sense of that, that energy that, you know, hey, something's not right with this person, you know, don't be afraid to ask questions and ask how they feel, you know, and actually, you know, show that you care, you know, 
people will sometimes ask me, hey, are you okay? Are you doing all right? And it would be just the simplest thing to let me know that somebody cared about me and they see me and I was visible that, you know, kept me from going off the deep end. And so checking in on people and showing that you care, you know, it helps with a person that's feeling, you know, any type of mental struggles and anguish, you know, especially when it comes to bullying, you know, even, you know, with the kids, even as adults, you know, I never really realized, you know, how much bullying adults do to each other. But, you know, it just, that's how the way world, it works and goes. And so even when dealing with, you know, stress from, you know, being bullied, you know, that weighs in on you. And so mental, like I said, mental anguish can't just occur just with adults. It comes with kids as, as well. And so that's why I definitely, I, I talk about this for everybody in general, you know, men, women, and children. I don't care the skin color, you know, your sexual orientation. We all go through any, the, you know, mental type, mental stress that can cause us to go off the deep end. But you have to remember, you guys, no matter what you're going through, no matter what trial and tribulation that may be, this too shall pass and you will get through it. You will just have to find ways and tools to combat and keep your mental health in check, you know, including picking up a hobby, you know, talking with somebody, getting your physical health in check. Um, uh, like I said, when it comes to talking with somebody, be a family member, a therapist, a friend, you know, a pen pal. Uh, a lot of people say, well, I don't have money to talk to a therapist. They cost. And that's very true. You know, they are costly. But don't let, you know, money be the reason why you don't keep your mental health in check. Excuse me, keep your mental health in check. You know, there are uh, other alternatives out there that you guys can, you know, find. You know, just have to get on the web and research and do your own homework and find what works best for you. Even if it means, you know, penny pinching and coming up with ways to, you know, other than talking with a therapist, you know, talking with somebody else that's free of charge. Uh, me, I say personally, I would prefer a therapist because they don't, you know, interrupt with their own stories and what they've been through, you know, or try to, you know, you, you get what you pay for when it comes to a therapist. They, they sit and listen and they provide advice. And that's really when it comes to when you want to express yourself and talk about whatever it is that you're going through. And so, you know, when it comes to, like I said, keeping your mental health in check and when you're talking with somebody, make sure you find somebody that you're comfortable with, you know, and you have confidence in them and, you know, that they're not going to go share confidential information. That's also a big issue when it comes to, you know, talking about our issues is we have trust issues with people. And so make sure you're talking with somebody that you trust uh, as far as when it comes to physical, you know, get, keeping your physical in check to help keep your mental in check, you know, going to the gym, you know, three times a week or, you know, doing some yoga, uh, some small exercises at home. Again, don't let money be the reason why you don't keep your physical in check. You know, there are free, you know, resources out there, including, you know, a lot of YouTube channel workout videos. I found recently, I didn't think he was still doing it. He was around doing this, but, you know, Billy Blanks, you know, his Tybo videos are still up. He has his YouTube channel. And so I check him out often. And so you guys, again, just have to find what works best for you and find the easiest route around it. You know, whatever trial and tribulation that you're going through, don't let it stop you from getting to your final destination. Um, also, I feel like I'm talking a lot, you guys. So, with that being said, like I said, when it comes to motivation and then talking with you, I, be, I feel and believe that you have to hear from other people. So, with that being said, check out this dope video I found uh, talking about mental health and, you know, what it is and how it can affect somebody and how it often we don't see it firsthand or how it can look. And so, with that being said, once we come back on, we'll talk a little bit more about mental health awareness and whatever else is going on in the difference world, yeah? Here it is. Check it out. You can't tell how someone feels just by looking at them or what they share online. To the outside world, our lives may look perfect, even if in reality they aren't. I'm always worrying about doing well at school. And with the end of year test coming up, I'm not sure how much longer I can cope. My thoughts swarm around my head, sometimes keeping me up all night. Some days it's just all too much, and I feel like I'm lost in space. When I did badly on one of my tests, I just about kept it together until I got home. Then I broke down crying in front of my mum. She listened for a bit, and then she told me that, just like physical health, we all have mental health. It's our feelings, our thinking, our emotions and our moods. She then said that feeling down, angry and stressed is a normal part of life. Just like it's normal to feel happy, confident and carefree sometimes. 
We all have positive and negative emotions that come and go based on what's happening around us. These are everyday feelings. Good mental health means experiencing negative emotions. It's not always about being happy. Mum can relate to the feelings of stress. So when Mum suggested I take a break from everything and do something I enjoy, I actually took her advice. So I made myself a hot chocolate, snuggled up in a duvet and watched a film. And you know what? Afterwards I felt so much better. Mum should take her own advice. Most of us only ever share the good things. We don't like to share how we really feel. Every morning when I wake up, negative thoughts stream through my head. Getting out of bed and pretending I'm okay takes all the energy I have. As the day goes on, the negative thoughts turn from a stream into a river. The water rushes through my head so loudly it's hard to concentrate in lessons. And some days it's so bad it feels like a waterfall that's trying to pull me over the edge. Everything is so overwhelming. I didn't think my friends would understand if I told them how down I was feeling. But when Sasha opened up to me about how stressed she was feeling, I told her. I wasn't sure how to bring up how I'd been feeling, so I started by saying that I didn't feel like myself. Just her listening made me feel like she understood. She told me some things that had helped her, so I tried them too, but it didn't make much of a difference. Even when I tried to be around my friends, I felt alone. The things I used to enjoy weren't fun anymore. I was really worried about Andre and not sure what to do. He was quiet and wasn't hanging out with us like he used to. So I asked our head of year for some advice. He suggested I get Andre to speak to him since his negative feelings weren't going away. I didn't want to speak to our head of year, but I also didn't want to keep feeling so down, so I went. He said that sometimes we have overwhelming feelings that can be more intense than our everyday feelings. These feelings hang around for a long time and change the way we feel, think and behave. They can stop us doing what we want to in life. That's what I was going through. He also said that if we're physically unwell, we let people know, we ask for help. It should be no different with mental health. Sometimes our overwhelming feelings are brought on because of things in our life. Sometimes they happen for no reason at all. After hearing this, I felt much less alone and it felt good to talk. Scientists have found exercise can help when you're feeling low. So our head of year encouraged me to sign up to the school football club, which Sasha was already in. I still have days when the river is there, but now I'm beginning to understand my mental health. I'm learning how to cope. Our head of year reminded me that my friends, family, teachers, and lots of others at school are there to help just as much as he is. I had no idea the people around me could be so understanding. And while it's not always easy to talk about my mental health, the person I'm talking to might be able to help. If you don't feel like talking, that's fine. You could try writing, sports, reading, art, music, playing with your pet, whatever makes you feel better. If you're the person someone talks to when they're struggling, just listen with no pressure or judgment. You don't have to have the answer. If you feel unsure about anything, you can speak to a trusted adult. Talking about mental health doesn't have to be difficult. After all, it's something we all have. Alright you guys, welcome back. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video and as you guys seen, 
uh, mental health doesn't have a face, it doesn't have a color, it doesn't have an orientation, you know, you can't expect for somebody that you see walking down the street laughing and smiling not to have, you know, any type of mental stress or anguish that they're going through in their lives behind closed doors. So never assume that because you see somebody smiling and that everything is okay, because sometimes it may not be. Um, also, you guys, and I normally do this towards the end, but since this is totally, this topic is totally involving mental health, I want to go ahead and take the time to do our mental health check. With that being said, uh, for those out there that may be going through any type of mental anguish, and again, that's being depression, feeling suicidal, you know, anxiety attacks, you know, dealing with bullying, going through relapse, whatever the case may be, please, again, know and understand that it is okay to not be okay but don't ever sit there and not be okay go get help whatever that case may be talking with a family member a therapist a friend picking up a hobby you know getting back and hitting that gym you know fixing your spiritual health you know cutting people off who mean you know well mending broken bridges do whatever it is that you have to do to keep yourself and your mental health in check and for not going off the deep end and possibly taking anybody with you. If you need or if you know anybody out there that may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share it with them, you guys. The crisis hotline number here is 1-800-273-8255 or you can call or text 988 or you can text 741-741. And for those that would prefer, you guys can go online and visit mentalhealthishealth.us or you can check out 988lifeline.org. And for those that are outside of the U.S. and that's watching your girl's YouTube channel, you guys can visit incounseling.com. Again, incounseling is spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G. And remember, you guys, although I am giving you these mental health resources, I encourage you guys and I remind you all that it's on you to do your own homework and your own research and you find what works best for you. Because at the end of the day, you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters. And we also, I want you to remember that whatever trial and tribulation that you may be going through at this time in your life, this too shall pass and you will get through it. So going off the deep end is not an option. It's not worth it. So don't do it. And so with that being said, you guys, hopefully you guys enjoy uh, listening to my topic today on mental health awareness. You guys, I encourage you all out there for the month of May. You know, do something small to keep your mental health in check, whether it is every weekend or every other weekend, you know, treating yourself to something nice, you know, going to the gym, you know, you don't have to even spend money to keep your mental health in check. Sometimes it's just praying and meditating, you know, doing something fun with the kids or the family or your spouse, whatever the case may be to help you keep your mental health in check. I encourage and challenge you all to do it this month uh, for the sake of, you know, keeping you guys' mental health in check and not going off the deep end. Uh, also, uh, again, if you like the topic, don't forget to show me by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. You guys, I definitely appreciate all the love and support that I am getting. Please keep it coming and don't stop. Also, go to my website, differencewall.net, and you can check out all my other social media handles, including my Instagram, my Twitter, TikTok, yep, that's what it's called. <laughs> and also, anybody out there that's looking for motivational speakers, or anybody that would like for me to be a part of their grassroots conversations, or anybody that you know has a podcast and want me to come on and be a guest, definitely hit up your girl on my website, differencewall.net, and you can book me there. I'm free of charge as of now, so get it in while you can. You can also get a copy of my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. Again, this book was written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations. So again, please be advised that it's intended for a mature audience. It has systems of content. And so again, if you can't take this type of heat, still come on to the kitchen. Why? Because that's the point of it all, you guys. It's just to have these conversations that need to be had, even if, you know, you want to turn a blind eye to it. This, is, this book pushes that envelope. It makes you, you know, want to think and say, you know, hey, you know, speak your opinion about it so we can get these conversations rolling that needs to be had and, and ultimately pushing for systemic change. And so, again, go to my website and get your copy of my book, what if a controversial paradigm shift you guys and I do appreciate all the love and support that I am getting please keep it coming next month we got Juneteenth coming up and so you know definitely 
something big and uh, good is coming your way. So you guys, again, that's why you have to hit that notification bell. So when I drop content, you guys come into different world and you come and look, learn. So definitely be on the lookout for next month, what we got going on. And definitely involving with my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. Um, what else we got going on, you guys, in Difference World? Again, that's why you guys got to hit that notification bell. So when I drop content, you guys come into Difference World and you come and learn and see what's going on. Tomorrow's Wednesday, and so I should be dropping a, another podcast interview. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what tomorrow, today brings or tomorrow, whatever you want, however you want to look at it, you guys. Um, but again, hit that notification bell and, and find out. Come and learn. And so uh, we're going to get out of here, you guys. I want to end this out on a good note and a positive note again to just uh, express to you all out there that's watching this vlog. Don't forget to keep your mental health in check by doing whatever it is that you have to do to keep yourself from going off the deep end and possibly taking anybody with you. And as far as when it comes to, you know, going after your dreams and goals, uh, don't forget you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And then it will surely come to you guys. Difference well. Come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.